Inside Ballet is getting a little avant-garde with its new works. Dancer Josh Bowden is with us. And Josh, we're talking about the Kaplan New Works series. And yes. this is something you all do that's a little more modern. Let's say a mo more is, is that a fair interpretation of this? It is. It is. Our, our New Works series is our contemporary modern series. It's a good way for an audience member who isn't used to the traditional ballets like your swan legs or full length ballets to come see something that's more contemporary, more up close and personal. It's done in at the Cincinnati Ballet Studios and it's with our Mickey Jarson Kaplan Theater. Mm -hmm. So it's very up close and personal. The audience can hear us breathe, they can see the sweat on our brow. And it's can, not as long either. And it's not as long, yeah. yeah. It's a bunch of it's like this program consists of uh, five different pieces which are about maybe twenty minutes each in length. So there's, there's even one with sort of like an ode to Johnny Cash. It is called Man in Black. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like that one? Tell me about it. It is a great piece. It has three men and one woman, mm -hmm. and uh, it has six or seven Johnny Cash songs. And wow. it's a good. They have cowboy boots on. They're line dancing. It is pretty amazing. It's not your traditional ballet. There's no point shoes. There's no jumping. It's just synchronized line dancing, which is pretty wow. cool. <laughs> now you have a solo, you want to tell us about it? I do, I have, the piece that I'm in is a uh, fusion of poetry, music, and dance. It was choreographed by Heather Britt, and it features spoken word artist Ja Hipster. And uh, the solo I have is to her words, her poem, and it's called uh, Black Man, I Wish You a Better Death. Oh wow, Mainly, that's, yeah. not, that's not light and cheery, is it? It's pretty heavy, but it describes um, uh, a black man, or any man in general, not giving in to the stereotypical death of being incarcerated, or gang violence, or dying of drug abuse. It states that uh, she wished this person to have a better death, meaning to have a long life, to be surrounded by family and friends, to have a funeral with an open casket, something that anyone any man should want to have be surrounded by loved ones when they die and actually have a good ending. So it's a pretty good solo. It's pretty heavy and uh, it's been received pretty well. So I'm pretty happy That's about wonderful. that. That's wonderful. I mean, you're so used to being in the Nutcracker and Swan Lake, as you mentioned, those types of ballets. Right. Is it kind of fun to break away and do something a little more avant-garde, a little more modern? I think for me and for, mo for most of the dancers in the company, this is our favorite program that we do each season because it's more organic, it's more down to earth, it's more normal. Yeah. It's uh, not as buttoned up. Not as stuffy, not right. as upright or technical as a dancer. It's just more laid back. It's more it's a fusion of hip hop. We have a little bit of like the line dancing, the it's just very it just feels good. It's, and by the way, it's four world premieres, one local premiere, so that's pretty fabulous as well. It's going on through September eighteenth, called Cincinnati yep. Ballet Box Office for tickets against at the Jarson Jarson Kaplan or Jarson Kaplan Theater. Jarson Kaplan Theater at the so Cincinnati it's Ballet. Very intimate, nice very intimate. nice thing to do. It's great to meet you. Thank we wish you, so you all much. continued success. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Uh, so